Okay, today I'm gonna do something crazy. I cannot believe I'm about to do this. I'm about to run a marathon around my garden. First of all, I've never run a marathon before. Second of all, I'm running it doing laps of my backyard. What else can I say? I'm inspired to do this because someone gave me this brilliant idea on one of my last YouTube videos. And actually, I'd already booked to run a marathon before this virus pandemic kicked in. And obviously the marathon got postponed till later on this year. But I really wanted to push myself because I've never run a marathon before and I really wanted to see if I could do it. So I thought, what better way to challenge myself than do it in my backyard. So here we go. Well, as excited as I was to get started, there was a little bit of setting up that I had to do first. I'm gonna make the corns nice and clean. Bingo. It's like a bit of a workout before the workout. All right, so everything's pretty much set up now. Here, check this out. I've got a little food station where I can run past, grab myself a sip of water or a bite to eat. Got some sultanas, some bananas, plenty of bottles of water, some snacks, boost juice. And here is my timer. So what I'm gonna be doing is every lap I'm gonna be running past and hitting this, it counts up one lap, two lap, three lap. I'll show you where I'm running. So this is the start line where my computer is, where the camera's set up through my pool, around this cone, down this line, gonna be another camera here, past these cones, gonna be another camera set up there, this way, this way, behind the cabana, and back to the starting point. Okay, so we've got a five meter measuring tape. Can you hold one end? Dead. Okay, so it's 15 meters in this lap. That's pretty good, we're getting somewhere. That's another five meters, but it's right to the end this time. Reality is I'm probably gonna run like this. Here is four and a half. Four and a half meters, so put your foot there. Oh. Five meters. 2.5 meters. Woo! Come on, catch it. Okay, get your toe there. Five meters. Oh! So the official marathon distance is 26.2 miles, which equals 42.195 kilometers. And that whole lap in total is 66 meters. So that means to run 42.195 kilometers, 639.39 laps. So I'm going to do 640 laps of those. Woo! I wonder how long it's gonna take me. That's what I got this bad boy for. Gonna keep keep track of the time. Now I'm doing this because we're in isolation at the moment and I can't go out and about and do my usual things. So I'm trying to find creative ways to stay fit. But I'm not sure I recommend doing this at home because obviously running a marathon is a big tiring thing and you can easily injure yourself and hurt yourself. I don't know, I'm just pretty keen to challenge myself. On that note, let's get started. Starting in three, two, one, time to go. Wish me luck. All right, the race is officially on. Laurie Shaw out in his own backyard, running his first ever marathon. And I forgot to click it the first time. Each time I go around, I have to press a little timer on my computer. Woo! Oh, I wonder how long it's gonna take me. 42 kilometers is no joke. <laughs> Woo! This is so much fun. I'm gonna learn every inch of blade of grass by the end of this run. The marathon is a celebration of the legendary Greek soldier Pheidippides, who is said to have run over 25 miles from the Battle of Marathon to Athens to deliver the news of a Greek victory. This completed 50 laps. Feels good, man. Oh, I'm so happy. Hold up. 51. Might have to switch it up soon though because this is getting very repetitive. Going one way around. Astronaut Sonita Williams ran 26.2 miles while on board the International Space Station in 4 hours and 24 minutes. Stop filming. Ah, shit. It stopped filming for some reason. I'm gonna have to check what it got up to. I'm up to 76, but I don't know if it's filmed all of that. Ah, that's annoying. All right, give me one sec. All right, so I found out what it did. Unfortunately, completely forgot my camera only records every 30 minutes and it just stops recording. That's the maximum time it can record for. But I'm up to 76 now, so I'm just gonna have to keep going and um, hope you guys trust me on that one because, yeah, that's a pain. But I'm gonna remember now, every 30 minutes, I gotta stop. I gotta stop it and start it again. <laughs> This is my 99th lap, which isn't necessarily significant, but I feel like 100 laps is pretty cool. That's about 6.6 .6 kilometers. Woohoo! 100. I got my friend Tamar running laps with me. One more, one more. Let's go, let's go. Fast, fast, catch me up. Woohoo! <laughs> Good work. Good. Beginning to get a little bit of a stitch. I did eat brekkie before this, so maybe that wasn't such a good idea. Just over 6.6 .6 kilometers. Woo! Let's carry on. 
Uh oh, we got a problem. The GoPro stopped recording. Check this out. It says SD card error. Ah, damn it. It's not easy when you have to film every angle and make sure everything's working or smooth, but where there's a will, there's a way. We'll figure it out. Oh no, that one stopped as well. Technical issues are not ideal when you're running a marathon. Missed out the last one. What are we on? 153. I'm getting tired. I think I might have to have some water. I've literally just drunk all of that. Pretty exhausted, eh? Just gonna have one of these. Oh! Bars are filming. Mmm. Unbelievable. Let's get back on the road. Okay, back on track, and I am feeling good. A little bit of a stitch I had, but I've kind of stretched it out a bit. We're on a roll, baby. I'm going around in one circle. I'm always leaning to the left. My feet are always like kind of pressing to turn me to the left. I think I might have to switch direction to get a bit of an even run. I'm getting tired. Two hundred. Ah, let's go. Actually, what I'm going to do because I've been running around this direction the whole time and it's really kind of wearing my body. I'm gonna switch direction, and I'll switch direction again, another 200 laps. So this way, let's go. Elud Kipchoge ran a marathon in less than two hours. His time, one hour and 59 minutes, is the fastest any runner has ever covered 26.2 miles. We'll see how we go, feeling good. Done just over 12, almost 13K, I think. To run a marathon in one hour and 59 minutes is the most insane thing I think I've ever heard of. And for me now, running my first marathon, I'm beginning to understand how incredibly impressive that time is. Oh boy, I'm so exhausted. Okay, tomorrow just told me to pick up the pace. Probably I'm going a little slow. But I want to see how long each of these 66 meter laps takes me. So when I hit the go, I'm going to time it. 52. Okay, 19 seconds to start. Let's see when we finish this one. How long do you think it should take to run 66 meters around the circuit? And it is now 42. So 42 minus 19 is 23 seconds to run a 66 meter lap. That means roughly 40 seconds for 100 meters, 400 seconds for a kilometer, which is... Oh, too many maths, I can't do that. Probably should pick up the pace a bit. All right, here we go. I haven't run in so long. Like, I don't think I've trained for this at all. My legs are just giving up on me. Okay, feeling good. Coming up to my 300th lap, which means, oh no, not quite, but almost halfway. Yeah, 300 laps. Woo, let's go. Feels good. Sun's going down. Temperature's nice now. It's a really good running temperature. Got the cameras rolling. Ah, life is good. So sweet. My mum's written me this letter on the window. Give me some extra motivation. I'm gonna pick up my pace. Love you, mum. Woo, 319, which means halfway mark, lap. I'm stoked that I'm halfway. Here we go, 320. Look at that. 320 laps complete. Ah, feels good, man. Under 320 to go, and then I will have completed my first marathon. I think the longest I've run before is like 20k. Let's get back up. Oh, I'm like, barely stand up. 21 more k's to go. Let's get it. Okay, Laurie, push through. We've got this. Let's go. 321. Really sore. Legs are pretty spent, but uh, good headspace. I want to smash this. 362. Let's pick up a run again. myself a little snack because then I need some fuel in my body. I am one tired soldier. Mm, this fuel me perfectly. Coming up to my 400th lap. It's on 399 and you know what that means. Every 200 laps I change direction. So here we go. 399, 400. Yes! Okay, time to switch around. Let's go. Taking a short walk to drink some water. I don't know if you can see the lighting, it's beautiful right now. It's that time of day when the sun's gone down but there's still a bit of light around. Ah, it's beautiful. 
thing with running with this flash in my eyes, it means I can't see where I'm going. But since I've run this track about 440 times, I should know <laughs> how to get around. 449. It's getting late, but we're making progress. Slow progress, but progress nonetheless. And fortunately, my body's holding up, which is good. Apart from my legs, my legs are exhausted. Oh, I feel like I'm gonna collapse, but mentally and like aerobically, I guess, my body feels good. But I got this. It's all mental. Just gotta push through. I mean, it's not all mental. <laughs> my legs might collapse, but fingers crossed, they'll hold up. Coming up to my 500th lap. My legs are so dead, but this is good. Making progress. Here we go. Yay! Woo! 500! Whoop whoop! I'm up to 520 something and I'm pretty much going at a snail pace now. Mum's cooking dinner inside. Every time I run past the door, I just get a waft of delicious smells. And I'm actually so hungry. Oh, can't wait to eat some food. Ah! My pace is nothing to be proud of right now. Now that is cold. I think I'm gonna have to be doing that as well after I finish this. If I finish this. God damn, I'm tired. Whoop whoop! 100 laps to go! Yeah! I feel like I've got so many blisters in my feet. <laughs> Can't wait to take my shoes off and then have a look at my feet. What am I on? Five, six, eight, five, six, nine. Just keep running, just keep running. Mum's time to join me on a lap. Come on, Mumbo. Through the mountain pass. I'm getting really tired. And when you get tired, obviously fatigue, and you stop thinking as quick and like your reaction and your alertness is closed down. So nearly just tripped over on those pebble stones. Yeah. Sorry guys, bloody camera went off again. I completely forget about these half hour stints. I'm almost at 600 and I'm so exhausted, but I'm pushing through. This is fun, this is good. This is the challenge I wanted, so let's finish strong. 599, one lap to 600. Yeah! Woohoo! Ah, that feels good. I'm picking up my pace now. Time to dig into the reserve tank. Let's go. I completely forgot to change direction on 600. Silly me. All right, switching around, let's go. I've done 630, which means 10 more to go, baby. Woohoo! All right, five more to go. Whoop, whoop. Ah, it's gonna feel so good finishing. Can't wait. Two more, baby, two more. Last lap, coming in hot. Woohoo! Winner! Yeah! Seven hours and 39 minutes. Yeah, well done. Oh. Terrible time, but now I'm ready to sleep for a few weeks. Oh, there you go. 640 laps. Oh, I'm about to fall over. Finally completed. I know I had a terrible pace. I had to stop a couple of times because of technical issues, changing cameras, wiping SD cards, but um, I'm pretty happy that I managed to push through and complete it. Really, really feeling it today. I was wa walking down the stairs this morning and my legs were like giving way, my knees. Ooh, I think I've got a few blisters on my toes. I'll probably, I won't show you my feet because you don't want to see them, but yeah, there's a couple of blisters. I'm paying the price for running my first marathon, but it was an experience and an incredible challenge. And actually it was so much more of a challenge than I thought it would be because I thought like it'd almost be easier because it's just doing laps of my garden and like stop, I can get drink water, etc. But for some reason I felt like it, it probably ended up being harder because it was just such a mental thing. I'm stoked I did it. Another challenge done and dusted. If you guys have any other challenge ideas you want me to do, comment below. Please give the video a, a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and definitely subscribe if you're not subscribed. Turn the post notifications on and all that good stuff and I'll see you next week.